Hello everybody, my name is Rest of Toasty, and welcome to Timberborn. Quick recap. In the first episode I made on this game, I managed to get uh, all the way to the end of the tutorial with friends. one single so beaver, and then that beaver died of old age immediately <laughs> after. And then we finally managed to get a good settlement actually up and running, and then we attempted to expand to new settlements, and that um, didn't work at all. These guys were just... We're just awful, okay? <laughs> Eventually, I did get those guys working, and then we started looking at, um, explosives. Explosives are cool. Bombs and such and whatnot and things. Some paper and some wood, right? Some planks and gears and etc. and whatnot. And then we blew up this lake, so now this lake is deeper. We also, in that episode, made some, some metal bits. Over here, we did some bread stuff. These guys are thirsting, but that's fine. I don't actually care that much. If you're thirsting, then get water. How about that? Just get water, my guy, my homie, my dude. I still don't know what their problem is with getting water. We have, like, a bunch of water, actually. It's it's all over the place. It's just nobody is importing it for some reason. For some reason, everybody is having an issue with that. These guys have a whole bunch of water, and they're supposed to take it out here, but then um, nobody nobody's taking it to here. It's just, it's just sitting in there, and I don't understand what the problem is. Why are you taking water there? You need water! Okay, um, I'm just gonna tell them to only import water if they need water, and hopefully that helps. Crippling idiocy aside, today we're gonna look at, at, at doing tapper's shacks. A, a tapper's shack, because I want pine tar. I forgot what it's called, actually. I have no idea. Pine resin. Pine resin and maple syrup. That's what it is. It's pine resin and maple syrup. So I can take one of these and put it over here, right? And then I can turn some of these into pine instead of oak. Trees! Pine trees! So this little tree guy should go plant all of those. And then those will eventually grow into uh, trees. 12 days until tree and then every week you get two pine raisin and then this guy can pick up the pine raisin and i have to figure out where i'm supposed to put the pine raisin well pine resin and maple syrup right sap and syrup what okay you do two pine resin and how do you make maple syrup i guess that would be off of a different tree now wouldn't it that would be the maple tree okay we don't need maple syrup yet we want to do pine resin so we can get them fancy, fancy logs. That's that's what we're gonna do with the pine raisin. Get the fancy logs. Y'all seriously need to figure out how to import water! Jesus. Oh well, too bad. I guess we have to wait for these to grow. And then, and I don't know how to say that English word in English. Can pick up pine resin trees. I do again have to figure out where to put the pine resin. I believe you just put it in one of these. Nope. Put maple syrup in there, though. Um, let's get rid of you. Goodbye. Let's do one of these instead. Does this hold the pine resin? It does hold the pine resin. Let's go. And then we can move it over here or something and make pine logs. Pine... Uh, is that in here? Yes. Wood workshop. Wow, that fits goodly. Awesome. So you can put a wood workshop in here. Cool. I, I guess... I guess we wait... And we'll see what happens in 10 days. I don't know how long, actually. Pine resin! We have pine resin! Look, it's pine raisins! Pine raisins! Oh my goodness, pine raisins! <laughs> yeah, you're gonna do that thing and, and put it in there. <laughs> and someone else is gonna come here and then put it somewhere else, probably. We're, we're making the pine resin now. Uh, that pine resin is gonna get taken way up here by this guy for some reason i don't know why you had to take it all i mean i guess i could put a smaller thing there so these guys have the pine resin now and that'll get taken up into here and then that can get used by these guys and they can make the treated planks eventually it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit to get to that point let me go ahead and put down a small <laughs> warehouse i think on average with since they take seven days each these rows are seven trees long which means that for every row here we get one per day technically so there's 
four per day right here, which is pretty neat. I think this guy on average takes a little over five per day, which is fine. And we have some treated planks. Let's go. Um, I don't know what really to do with treated planks. Is that... Oh, you can make a mud bath with treated planks or a fountain of joy. And that's about it. So treated planks aren't, aren't actually that good. Which I guess means I should probably make more of these. Let's make, I think, three more rows. We're not using any of these oak trees, so there's not a huge point. So I'll just go ahead and switch these up to the 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 the, the pine the pine trees, so we can make the pine resin more of it. That is okay. So once these grow and start doing their thing, we'll be making about seven per day, which is neat, pretty neat, pretty cool. So some of that will sit around in the warehouses which is good because there are a few different buildings that require the pine resin like this observatory does not that i'm ever going to use an observatory oh well i think i also want to get started with the bot parts but we're not making biofuel and i don't think we're making the gears fast enough but i might be wrong i guess yeah i could make one of these yeah need a bot part factory and a bot assembler I don't know what that's going to do exactly. The only thing is biofuel. We need to be making biofuel. Where and how do I biofuel? Refinery. It takes food and water, essentially. I can do carrots and water. Oh, um, potatoes and water is way more efficient. Especially water efficient. Which is the biggest, uh, most important thing. How much does the bot part factory? It doesn't need that much biofuel, so I'm just going to do one refinery right here and then i also need to put down a farmhouse as well i could try to do an aquatic farmhouse considering how much area we have here i haven't done one of those yet and i do believe if i do the spatter dock it's gonna take spatter dock potato six days to one uh and then a spatter dock is 12 days to three which is technically more efficient technically faster so I think I'll do spatter, especially since I actually, I also have more space for the underwater stuff. Unless I'm sorely mistaken about how this works. I'm not. Alright, so that is, um, full. Oh yeah, you can have two workers, which is pretty sick. Alright, now I just need to put down a thing, I believe it would be one of these, right? For the spatter dock. Spatterdack. Yep, Spatterdack. And then you take Spatterdack, Spatterdack, Spatterdack. I can grab a tank for the biofuel. Sitting at 111,000 science. Still not needing any of it right now. Unless there's somewhere else in the game UI that I haven't figured out where you're supposed to use the science to get stuff or something. I don't know. Okay, full on biofuel. All of it. For real, literally all of the biofuel, and also they only they only grab this area, uh, which is fine for now, I guess. Now I guess we can do the bot parts somewhere, right? It takes some beams. It's actually mostly wood now that I think about it. So we should probably put it up here where the wood is being made directly, right? I feel like that's that's better. We're making a lot of treated planks right now, which is pretty sick. But we should still be, yeah, filling up on pine resin. I can put down the bot part factories down here, I do believe. That takes one beaver and 150 horsepower, and this takes two beavers and 250 horsepower. Oh, that's pretty big. Good dang. It's solid, it says. What if I put a bot assembler on top of it? Whoa, that's cool. Sick. We could have the whole thing all in one. That's cool. Um... Let's do one of these and one of these. And then it needs to go up, but I don't know how much up. I think it's two up, which is fair. So that'll be connected once that all gets built. And we'll have a bot part factory and a bot, a bots. Oh, I need more bot part factories. I need like three of them. That's uh, understandable. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. Um, This one should be fine to do something like that, right? And then another stairs and such things. And then I do need to put storage down here for all of those. Do those go in the warehouses? 
Bought heads. Bought chassis. Bought arms. Am I saying chassis right? Everyone else says chassis, but I think it should be chassis. Chassis. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I took two French classes in the same year in high school. Is, is that why I say chassis? Instead of chassis like a normal person? Chassis. So that'll get built, and then we can use the biofuel that we stacked up, stocked up over here. A lot of, lot of biofuel, and a lot of spatter dock. Can we grill the spatter dock too? Because I think we're making more spatter dock than we need. Is there a way to, is that, do you grill spatter dock? Yes, you do grill spatter dock. With a little bit of wood and some spatter dock. You can turn one spatter dock into three grilled spatter dock? How do you turn one, one potato into four potatoes? That doesn't make sense. How about we just do one grill and say grilled spatter dock. And if we need more grill, we, I mean, if we need more spatter dock, then we can just, um, we can put down another one of these aquatic farmhouses. That's what you do. You put down another aquatic farmhouse. Hey, yo, we have some grilled spatter dock already. That's pretty cool. I should probably put down another storage thing for those. I right, forgot. Let's say grilled spader dake. Spader dake grilled, grilled spader dake. Yes, thank you. What are the bots for? Why am I making these? Do I need these? I mean, I may as well now that I have, but is it hugely important, honestly? I can't even tell. It's cool. How about it's cool? Robots are cool. And that is my only explanation. That's the only explanation you're getting ever. So yeah, at this point, just them being cool is like the only, uh, the only reasoning I can give, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> And then, and then, and then, and then. What the? <laughs> what are you? What, 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 what is wrong with that guy? Did you see that? The other guy went up the stairs perfectly normal and whatnot. And then that guy just kind of just levitated through them or something. Okay, looks like we built all... Oh, yep, it's moving. We built all the factory bits, the bot part factories, and the bot builder. So we should be making bots, but I don't know what they do, so... They're making a robot! It takes 36 hours to make a robot, which is like two and a half work days or something. I don't, I don't know. It's two and a quarter. Two and a quarter work days right now. So a few days. It takes a few days. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, it's only 54% productivity. Why is that the case? Do you just not have your stuff? I guess that would do it if you don't have your... You're making the heads, but it's taking a little while. And you're making the, the chassis, but it's also taking a little while. Because you're slow! Stop it! Stop being slow! Oh well, it's fine. Okay, we're full on treated planks, which means we are not making any more of those. Nearly full-on pine resin, which is okay, I guess. Cool. They almost did a beaver. They are 80% of the way to beaver. Beaver robot. Beaver bot. Bot. I like how jean jacket, you have to say jean jacket instead of, like, jean shorts where you say jorts. You have to say jean jacket because if you take jean and do your general jorts or jest for jorts vest <laughs> you can't do that with a jorts a jean jet oh we have no food where did our food go what are you doing sorry i will finish that thought in a moment what happened to our food why do we have no food we have 46 bread <laughs> what is wrong with you people how did you manage this we have nothing we have nothing okay okay um, mild emergency. Very, very mild emergency. We need... Oh, shit. Never mind. I was having a brain aneurysm. I lied. We have 6,000, 6,000 food. <laughs> Damn it. God, fuck. <laughs> okay, mild heart attack over. We're fine on food. It's just these guys... These guys having a food aneurysm. There's there's nothing here. Everywhere else is just perfectly fine. We have 6,000 food. Okay, uh, thought continue. Oh, did we make a, a brobot? Where's the brobot? Oh, where's- Hey, yo, brobot. Where's the brobot? Brobot? Why are you minus 12? Who are you? Uh, Azeha? You shall be renamed Bingo Boingo. 
to be fair, some of these are some pretty friggin' weird names too. Ankle Gad, Boonu, <laughs> Boonu, <laughs> Bingo Boingo. Stop being thirsty. Okay, how do I look at the Beaver robot? Timberbot, hey you, where are you? Where are you at? Can I locate you? Yo, there he is. It's the Brobot. What you doing, Brobot? Unem Brobot is unemployed. Oh, that's hilarious. We have Brobot, but Brobot is unemployed. I guess I can move around the Brobots like the same way that I move around the beavers by like migrating them. So I can go into here. Yeah, Brobots are available for migration now. So I can migrate a Brobot and then I can migrate Brobot. <laughs> One singular Brobot not having a job. Obviously, because everywhere else has job. Hey, yo, get over here, Brobot. Work, Brobot, there are openings. Where's Brobot? Show me Brobot. I need to find Brobot. What you doing, Brobot? Can only... Oh, I have to switch it? Really? Dang, that's weird. So I guess I could make a district that was just entirely robots. Robots, I mean. Do I have to spend science to unlock Brobot workplaces? Uh, yeah. Like, these ones, people can work there, but they can't work in the district crossings or farmhouses. Or they can work in farmhouses, and I just completely lied. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. You have to use your science powers to open the bots or something. So I can switch this back to beavers, and then somebody does work there. Pretty sick, pretty cool, pretty neat. What would be interesting would be to set up a district somewhere that was just robots working there. I could make a farming district with just robots. Robots. Robots, I mean. Robots for fun. Hey, Brobot! Where's Brobot? I need Brobot. Population... Bro what? Robot, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> uh, your name is Brobot. Let's go. Robots are just vastly more efficient than all of the regular beavers. That might be a thing for next episode to see if we can actually, like, switch over to an entirely bot-based society rather than beavers. So we can have... Down here, we can have the beavers going with all the food and whatnot nearby. And then in these places, we can switch it all over to the bots because they're so much more efficient. Yeah, we'll see. We can do bots, possibly. I don't know if that's the best idea, but it's something to take a look at, I think. We shall see how that turns out, possibly in the next episode. But yeah, we uh, we have robots now. We, we have... We have Brobots. How are you, <laughs> Brobots? And then we could also actually, Timberbot 2, your name is Brobot with a zero. Yeah, right now, I think I'm just gonna leave them be. Sitting around here, the, 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 the robots and such and such and whatnot, possibly. <laughs> I don't know. So we actually did pretty good today. We had very few crises. We normally end up with big issues like nobody having water or nobody having food. We had an imagined crisis that one time that I looked at the food and it was like nothing, but that was just because I was on a single district way out here in the boondocks. And now they have, yeah, 60 food. Just, yeah, that's about what I expected. So, understandable. Have a nice day. Um, I feel accomplished. We did a good job today. If you enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like and subscribe. Helps me out quite a lot, quite a bit, quite a whole bunch. Leave a comment down below, maybe what I should do next in this game. Possibly some, um, some, more, some more districts, possibly some bots for fun. Could be interesting. And I will see you in the next episode whenever that happens, because honestly, I have no idea. I'll see you in a week for some more Timberborn. And um, b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b